Okay. I wanted to show you this weird effect that I'm getting on my analog meter. Once again, this is just a standard slayer. That tower there is just to get that, essentially, I think of it as an aerial, out of the way because I don't know if you've ever played with a slayer before, but when you're playing them with them at these voltages, this is what tends to happen. Straight through the insulation. So you can't have any any wires touching. And uh, uh, at times, this is a metal workbench. At times, the um, some of the wires have actually shorted out, and I think they can only be attracted through the, this Teflon base to the workbench, which is quite odd. But that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was this analog meter here. You can see here it's set on the 1000 volt AC. Hopefully you can see that. When you look at the meter it's sort of going up all over the place. I've just got both probes in one hand. And nothing on the probes. Uh, but, and this is the bit that I don't understand. If I take one of these probes Actually, I'll just leave it there. And this other probe I put over into the field. You can see it goes up and maxes out. There. I don't understand why that's happening. Uh, you know, I've read up to find out how an analog multimeter works. Um, places DC current through a coil, blah blah blah. But I don't get what's happening here. Obviously, these probes are, are acting as some sort of aerial. But um, yeah, I'd just be curious if anybody has a theory or an answer to that. And in case you didn't see the previous video. This is a 25 watt, 240 volt globe powered off a uh, 12 volt DC power supply. The transistor I'm using, which I don't think I mentioned in the last video, is an MJ3305, sorry, an MJE3055. And I don't think I mentioned the um, secondary coil in there, of course, which is just some hookup wire as per the standard Slayer exciter. Thanks guys. I'm trying not to electrocute myself as I'm turning this up. It's not an easy task.